Namaste. So I'm very happy to announce today the release of two new multimedia ebooks. And the first one that I want to highlight is the Uladu Narpadu series. Now, Uladu Narpadu, for those who don't know, is the masterpiece of Sri Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi. And this is a work in the Advaita tradition, the authentic Advaita tradition, descended from Shankaracharya. So, Ramana, of course, is a spontaneously self-realized sage. He attained self-realization at age 16, which is very rare. Only in thousands of years huh, does a sage appear in this way. So his qualification is extremely high and after he got educated in the revealed scriptures, the Vedic scriptures, he wrote a series of verses, not all at once, but a few at a time. And these were le later collected into a Narpadu. A Narpadu is a Tamil a poetic form where a topic or subject is explored in 40 verses. And Uladu basically means what is, the reality. So the subtitle is 40 verses on reality. And he goes deep, very deep, and shows the meaning of the self with a capital S, to be the same as Brahman in the Upanishads. This is an essential book for anyone who wants to attain enlightenment. And so is our other issue that we're rolling out today, which is on emptiness. The Chula Vedala Sutta. Huh? Now, chula means the smaller. It's a comparative uh, adjective. And vedala means emptiness. Shunyata vedala sutta means a collection of verses. And it is similar, in a way, to Ramana's work, Uladu Narpadu. But it's from the viewpoint of the Buddha. And the Buddha, as we've discussed many times, uses negative logic. The Buddha uses negative language and negative logic to explain the very same thing that Ramana does. So these two books are very interesting because they're like mirror images of each other. They're both talking about the same thing. Ramana calls it the self, which is positive terminology. The Buddha calls it Nibbana, or emptiness, shunyata, which is negative terminology. Nibbana, or nirvana, which means extinguishment, just like a fire. When it runs out of fuel or runs out of air or uh, gets water poured on it or whatever, we say it goes out. But where does it go? <laughs> it doesn't go any place. It simply ceases to exist as a fire. And it becomes something else. So in the same way, what we call the self, with a small s, the personality, the individuality, exists only so long as certain conditions prevail. And when its karma is completed, it disappears. Where does it go? <laughs> Out. <laughs> 
and the resulting state is called emptiness. So everybody is terrified of emptiness. Anyone who is a materialist, who is in love with this life, this material life based on the body, anyone who identifies with the body and its various extensions, the mind, the senses, possessions, relationships, titles, designations, and so on, is going to be terrified of emptiness. Why? Because none of those things exist in emptiness. Yet emptiness is our real nature. It's our real state. Just as Brahman, the self with a capital S, is our real nature. So it's almost like we have two complementary views, the positive and the negative, Ramanas and the Buddhas, of the same state, which you could call enlightenment, self-realization, Nibbana, Moksha, release, liberation, you know, there's so many names, the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> there's so many different uh, ways of looking at it and so many descriptions of it, but they all amount to the same thing, which is that there is no more being and becoming in the material world. There's no more birth and death. So there's no more suffering. This is what everybody is looking for, whether they realize it or not. And uh, because there are so many different ways of looking at it, there's a lot of confusion in the world. So we decided to issue these two books, these multimedia e-books. And what is a multimedia e-book? It's an e-book, you read it on your computer, and it contains links to the original videos from which it was composed. And it also contains a word-for-word -word transcription. We haven't altered the content. We haven't altered the text, except to make it a little more readable. Uh, we took out a lot of the so, <laughs> which I tend to overuse when I speak extemporaneously. But we kept the meaning the same. That's the important thing. Uh, so you can read it as a book, or you can read it along with the video, or even the audio. We've uploaded the audio from each video to the archive.org site, and you can download that. You can also download the video from archive.org and keep it on your computer, uh, use it on the go when you don't have an internet connection or whatever. So this is our new format for multimedia ebooks, and we're gradually going to be issuing more and more of our series in this format. And this is one of the things we're doing to help preserve our work and make it more accessible for people in the future. And one more thing, of course, the links are in the video description. So you can very quickly download those. And one more thing, this coming Sunday, the satsangam is going to be moved up by one hour. It'll be one hour earlier than it has been. We have been doing it at 6 p.m. Sunday evening, Sri Lanka time or India time. Now we're going to be doing it at 5 now, the only reason I put it at 6 was because that is a convenient time for people in the U.S. So far, we've done three of them, and nobody from the U.S. has joined. So, uh, we want to make it more convenient for me, <laughs> because to start something at 6 p.m., 
and then it, it's over by 7 p.m. Then I have to download the recording and edit it and upload. Yet it keeps me up too late. I like to get up early and meditate on the beautiful emptiness. So look in the video description below for links to a time zone map showing the time in your time zone and a link to the Zoom meeting. Uh, and I hope to see you there next Sunday. Okay, that's it. Aung Tatsat. Aung Shakti Aung.